690,000 official DACA uh, registrants. And uh, the president uh, sent over what amounts to be two and a half times that number to 1.8 million. The difference between 690 and 1.8 million were the people that some would say were too afraid to sign up, others would say were too lazy to get off their but they didn't sign up. Well, the left is howling, of course, and jumping up and down like the hyenas they are. But think about what he said. DACA did exist for five years. It was a special carve out for people brought here illegally under the age of 18. And there are a lot of ways the federal government was helping people sign up for it. There were programs and translators and lawyers, a lot of things available to help immigrants apply. And yet more than a million people who are eligible to apply to the program failed to do so. Why is that exactly? And what does it tell us about them? Roberto Hernandez is an immigration activist. He joins us tonight. Roberto, thanks for coming on. Fight. Hey, Tucker, how you doing? I'm doing great. So um, I, think it's a fa- I think it's a really interesting question. So the majority of the people who were eligible for this program, which I think is unconstitutional in the first place, but it existed, they didn't sign up for the program. Now, maybe some that say they were lazy. I don't think that's the explanation. I think they just didn't care. They didn't care about our law. They didn't care about following the rules in a country that's not theirs. And so they didn't. And I think that's worse than laziness, honestly. You know, Tucker, ay Dios mío, oh my God. You know, first of all, I can't believe John Kelly, the chief of staff of the White House of this country using that kind of language. You know, to me, it's like, it reminds me of the bullies in third grade. And if you really look at why did people not apply? People are afraid, Tucker. Look at all the ice raids that are going on in this country right okay, now. Well, okay, but, no, but this wasn't, this is not that, right the now. The fear this that is, people are living in right now. Right, okay. You know, as so, wait, wait, beautiful, can I just ask you, can I just you, know, you a question? brown skin that we don't, are don't as Don't give me the skin color are. thing. It's not about that. It's nothing to do with that. These are citizens of it other is. countries. They're oh, not picking on me. any other race. They're not picking on any other race. You know how many okay. other You are single-handedly are making me very against Letting any of these people become citizens because you're making it a racial question. It's a question of citizenship. So these people are here illegally. Obama said, look, I'm going to let you stay under this program. I'm going to help you sign up under the Obama administration, not Trump, Obama, five years ago. And most of them didn't sign up. And now Trump is saying, I'm giving you citizenship anyway, which I totally disagree with. But whatever. That's the fact. But the point is they didn't sign up. So what were they afraid of? The Obama people were like, we're helping you, give you a translator, and you still won't do it? Why? Because you don't care, that's why. You don't care about being legal. What's the other explanation? But let's look, okay, you bring up Trump. Now that you bring up Trump, let's it's talk about, about it was Trump. under Obama, it, man. It is, Tune because in. you know what? That, he created a crisis for Taka. Simple. It wasn't a crisis until he made it a crisis. Okay, but Roberto, check it's a distraction, here. Ch- 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 a distraction for okay. this country. Okay. When it's we a, have so well, many other there. issues and crises that we have in this country, more. that should not be the topic of this subject of what right. needs to okay. be okay. fixed but in this country. Uh, I couldn't and when agree with you more. You know, we, we found common ground on that. But mail. He using it as blackmail. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Can you? I just look. If I have one goal for this segment, it's to get you to. I want you to just answer this one question. Under Barack Obama, who offered this program to people here illegally, he said, look, I'm going to let you stay, give you legal status, and I'm going to help you sign up for it. There's nothing I won't do to help you sign up for it. And most of them said, not interested. I'm turning down the programs, I'm turning down the translators, the safe spaces you're giving me. Why? Don't tell me it's they were afraid. He was asking them to sign up and helping them, and they didn't. What's the answer? Why didn't they do that under Barack Obama? Honestly. Well, that was temporary. And Barack Obama, quite candidly, failed by not getting immigration reform done the first year. You're not going to answer my question, are you? No, no, I am. I'm trying, trying to answer your question. Didn't Barack Obama promise that he was going to do immigration reform the first year that he was in office? Does, does the president make the laws in this country or does the Congress? Do you know? It's Congress. But right, there you go, good. Ob- Obama so Congress also does, right. had uh, Democratic <laughs> control, House, okay. Nancy okay. Pelosi was ahead of right. that. He also had the Senate, 
that was democratic right. control. Okay, so you're not, answer my, you're not so answering my question. Not a, no, you're not answering my question. It's a really interesting question. I think it tells you a lot about this population that we're about to give citizenship to. We'll be voting in our next election, so we're at some subsequent election. So I, I hope we can get to the bottom of that because it, it tells us a lot. Roberto, thank you very much. Ultra of the McCarthy era. There is zero uh, proof or even evidence uh, that there is uh, uh, political bias uh, in the FBI. But if you say it long enough and, is, and, and often enough, there will be people who have doubts about it. And it's mm -hmm. a profoundly unpatriotic thing to do. You're not patriotic if you want your questions answered. Democrats are lashing out. That's not even strong enough. Something profound is happening here. But they're very upset uh, by the release of the FBI memo. House leader, minority leader Nancy Pelosi said, President Trump, quote, just sent his friend Putin a bouquet. Many have said similar intemperate things, including Democratic Congressman Eric Swallow of California, who joins us tonight. So, Congressman, um, many Fight. Democrats, including Democratic leaders, uh, Pelosi and Schiff, to name two, said before this was released that its release would jeopardize American national security. That turned out to be a lie, provably, because there's nothing in this that was classified. In fact, there's it's no obvious reason it was classified in the first place. So why would they tell us that when they knew it wasn't true? Good evening, Tucker. Uh, you should be concerned about this, too. It does reveal sources. You should read uh, the memo. Just because you knew the sources beforehand because they were reported on doesn't mean we acknowledge them in ongoing investigations. So please, be precise, about how, here, though, please be precise about how it jeopardizes our national security, because a lot of us are concerned about doing that. And I would never want to play any role in doing that. And that's why it's such a serious charge. And that's why well, we make it. You're playing a role in doing that right now. By, well, tell me how. You're playing a role. Because we don't acknowledge sources in ongoing investigations. What source for are you FISA talking about, and, and how does that imperil well, our country? Well, the, the, me, the memo goes into Papadopoulos and Page and others that you only knew about because they were reported on, not because well, they I were I knew about but because Papadopoulos say, Tucker, was indicted, the larger, and the memo came the, out today. So just explain to me how you just accused yeah. me of endangering American national security, yeah. and I think it's fair to ask you to be very precise in explaining how I'm doing that. So please do. The, the larger danger that, that no, you're no, no. doing and, not and the others larger are doing danger. is you just the, the rule of me law. Per, Tucker, oh, slow down. You're you just accused, the police oh, slow, no, I'm not to go let you after go your political enemies. I'm not going to let you go. Yeah. You just I, I so you, you got two. You got two choices. You can either apologize mm -hmm. and take it back, or you can explain <laughs> it. I think it's fair to ask you to I, explain, I explain what it, you Tucker. meant when you said I was. Yeah. How? How does that jeopardize our country's security? Because we don't reveal the sources in ongoing investigations. Tucker, right now in every so police now station that this in America, has been revealed, the police, how are Tucker, we let me finish. Danger? Let me okay. finish, Tucker. In every police station in America, the police are interviewing a suspect. And you're suggesting that we should give the suspect the evidence before we ask them the questions. Who's but the this suspect? Is about the rule I'm honestly, of law. Can, what We're the trampling hell are you over the rule about? of law in this country. But what, they gave what, the White House evidence in the Russia okay. investigation. The I'm White House the are White subjects House. of the, I'm talking of about the Russian... Me, hold on. I'm talking about me as an American citizen who yeah. got a chance to read this much-talked-about memo today, and I listened to people like you tell me, and now explicitly tell me, that I'm hurting our country by reading it. And I want to know how and you're I'm also doing hurting it. our country by not acknowledging the rule of law has been run over. They're using the police okay. to attack their one, enemies. I'm, I'm sorry. The one death penalty offense at a time here. One, okay. one <laughs> serious crime at a time. So I don't I understand. Like you, Tucker, you don't but have I think an answer, which is one. why you're not answering yeah. my question. But I, I would gave you a bunch of answers, not Tucker. Make it, no, yeah. I, I have literally you don't no like idea the what answer. you're talking That's about. That's the problem. Then why do you, you don't try like this the one? answer? We know from this yeah. that Carter Page four times was described by the Department of Justice, by the FBI, as an agent of a foreign power, Russia. Four times. So the question and to you is... And in 2013 as well. To, he was not accused of that in 2013. He was no, surveilled, actually, he we, have, we don't know you unless you're revealing something our... that has not been revealed before. But I'm revealing you something you should have read, which was his testimony to our committee where he acknowledged he was person A in the indictment in 2013, I... where he okay. was suspected of being a Russian foreign agent. Oh, but I don't, think he, I don't think he was accused of it. Let me ask you this, though. Do you think he was? He was? Do you think, it. okay, fine. do you think since the DOJ accused him of that before a FISA court, do you believe it? Is he a foreign agent? Simple question. What do you think? He, he was under suspicion. It's an ongoing investigation that's not closed. That's the problem, Tucker. But it's do you still think open, he is? A, no, but do you, want, think, uh, you want us do you to think he's a foreign to comment agent? on it? It's open. It's no, still an open investigation. Well, I, think Tucker. You're, I think you're you entitled don't to your opinion and under the Constitution. Them in real time. If you're going to impugn the man's character, as you relentlessly have, suggesting that he's betraying his country, committing treason, I think it's fair to ask you, man to man, an honest question, a straightforward one with no innuendo do you think he's betraying his country? 
I think you're not allowing the FBI to answer that question with what you and others are doing to undermine the work. You've got to be work. kidding. I, all I want no, is for my questions to be answered. I sit here, an open, willing repository for all information, including your memo, including the documents that supported this memo, including the so testimony So you support our memo coming committee. out. I want to be clear. Of course I do. Are do you, you support kidding? our memo coming out? Of course I do. Out? Absolutely I okay. do. I support we should talk all about information it next week. that gets to the truth. Invite me back. What I don't support, I'll be in is, making, what I don't support is making reckless mm -hmm. allegations about other Americans that you cannot support, as when you said I was harming our country's national security, and as when you suggested Carter Page was betraying this nation. And I want to know. You're peddling you, a narrative that I'm undermines the I'm not peddling a narrative. I'm law. asking a question. You just said on my air, on my show, you're imperiling our national security. I said, oh, really, Congressman? How am I doing that? Am I going to be arrested for that? Because, I don't know, it seems like the kind of thing a man could be arrested for. Yeah, th these are important times in our history. Either you are I've supporting noticed. those that are undermining the independence of the Department of Justice and the rule of law, or you're standing firm and saying this is wrong. Tucker, I wish you were on my side because I think you know better. I'm not sure... What the hell you're talking about? I only wish I think that you don't you like what I'm talking about. Si oh, well, I definitely don't like what you're talking about, but more profoundly, I don't understand it. And when you accuse someone you read of our committing memo a crime for which people are arrested, why don't you game it out for me? Tell me one thing that I have said that you think makes all Americans, including my children, less safe. You continue to support the idea that we should give suspects in criminal cases the evidence against them before we ask them any questions. Well, you I, also I, believe I, that I there's nothing wrong I don't support that. I do think we should give them the benefit of the doubt as the, the Constitution requires us to. You. Call me a liberal. Woo! When have I said that I think that we should give evidence to, I'm not even sure what that means. I, by the way, I think people charged in a, in a criminal case have the right to the evidence against them, do don't you, they? Do you think... Well, Wait, wait, well, not so, when are you, they're being, are you aware not of that? Not when they're Don't... being questioned, Tucker. Yeah, Tucker, not when they're being questioned, not when they're under suspicion. Do you think it's a problem so that the White House was sent evidence in the Russia s investigation? Okay. Do you think it's a problem that they were sent evidence in the Russia investigation when they are subjects of the investigation? You don't see a conflict there? What in the what? No, no, Donald I, Trump I, and maybe Don, I would, Don but McGann. In, this, in the case of today's memo, what specifically have I espoused that empowers threats to our country. You're, you're peddling the narrative that the Trump administration is putting out, which also is the Putin narrative because they're retweeting this with their Russian bots. This, if you're so on the I'm same side as WikiLeaks Putin too. and Putin, I wonder, do you perceive if you're on the, the same side as WikiLeaks and Putin, you should take uh, a step back and wonder whose bidding are you really doing? I don't even know what to say. I don't want to explode on TV, so I'm just going to end this segment now. Let, let the record reflect I'll you. I'll see Working for a hostile foreign government. Tucker wins. There's a battle underway in Washington over memos. Democrats have asked President Trump to release their memo. It's a rebuttal to the Nunes memo of 10 days ago in the FBI. The president says he will release it, but at this point, the memo contains too much classified information that must be taken out or altered before the public can see it. Some are saying that was the plan all along. The Democrats deliberately created a memo they knew couldn't be released. Congressman Eric Swalwell represents the state of California, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Fight. Tucker, great to be back after our court-ordered cooling-off period. Exactly, which I was thinking about today, and I'm, and I'm glad and grateful that you came back. So 10 days ago, February 2nd, was the day the Nunes memo was released, and, and this show had called for it to be released. And because of that, you said that we were working for Vladimir Putin. Now, the Democrats have a memo, the minority memo, and I would like to see that released, and we've called for it to be released on this show as well. Mm -hmm. Do you still think I'm working for Putin now that I want your memo to be released? No, I, yeah, no. Tucker, I, I never said that. I said that you're making the same argument. You're on the same side with them. But I'm glad you do agree but that I was, the I was memo actually be doing his bidding. So the question is, is asking for your memo to be released doing his bidding also? Yeah. No, I, I said when you're on the same side, you have to ask whose bidding are you doing. But, Tucker, I'm okay, glad so, you so, agree so with now the, but Hold on, wait. No, public, but to please answer the question. Yeah. I'm asking for your uh, – you said that because I wanted Nunes's memo to become public. Now I would like Adam Schiff and your memo to become public. Am I still on Putin's side? It sounds like this is going to be a short interview because you and I both agree the Democratic memo should be public. Okay, so, so the answer is, if I want the Republican memo to be released, I'm on Putin's side, but when I want the Democratic memo to be released, I'm on God's side? I, I think both of us agree that we should get past the memo, the attacks on process, and get back to the evidence uh, in this investigation.
<laughs> but see, when I, what's so striking, though, is that when Nunes was releasing his memo, you guys said, and you among them, this is hurting American national security. It's subverting the rule of law. This memo that you are trying to release now apparently has classified information in it. I think you would agree that it does. The intelligence agencies say that it does. Why is that not also hurting American national security and subverting the rule of law? Well, we did something, Tucker, that the Republicans weren't willing to do. We asked the Department of Justice to review it. And if there is anything in there that would hurt the rule of law or national security, we would want that redacted. But it seems odd that the president now wants to listen to the FBI when he was willing to release the memo before even hearing from them or even looking at the memo. I just want but, but, the memo wait, 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 out there. Wait, 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 wait. As a great respecter yeah. of the FBI, and that was the case you've made for months, that anyone who questions the FBI is unpatriotic, and they, they protect your life even as you sleep, and how dare you question their judgment. Are you questioning their judgment? Wouldn't you want the FBI to hold that memo if, if they believe it imperils national security? We do, and we're working with them right now to make any redactions necessary. But the way the president has framed this, Tucker, is very suspicious. I want to know if he's pressured them at all to hold back any information from the American people. And I Wait, think are you saying the FBI is subject actions, to political pressures? I thought the FBI was above politics. Isn't that the case that you've made night after night on this show? That we shouldn't quote, well, we shouldn't guy's suggest. Already, Oh, he's already so, fired the guy who was investigating. Him. So all of a sudden, the FBI is a political tool. But I thought I was immoral for suggesting yeah. that 10 days ago. But now no, you're suggesting it. It's kind of not weird. A, they're not a political tool. Oh, because no, I thought you just said, said that. You said they had just been pressured. That's not what I said. Oh, didn't yeah. you just say they'd been? No, pressured? I want to know if, if he is if he's pressuring them. He can apply pressure without them being pressured. We should work with them. But again, Tucker, this is all a distraction. Uh, it's a charade, actually. We really should be hearing from witnesses because it would it may surprise well, you. I we agree. haven't heard from a witness in our investigation in over a month now. I agree. And uh, look, I mean, I, again, just to be totally clear, I think that classification is used to shore up people's power in Washington. I think a lot of things that we should be able to see we can't because they're classified for no good reason. So I'm very sympathetic to your case. What I'm not sympathetic to is the changing goal line here. So when you do something, it's great. It's in the national interest. When the Republicans do the exact same thing, it's somehow doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Well, no, Tucker, what, what I see is the FBI said it would be extraordinarily reckless to release a memo, and the president went ahead and did it anyway. Now they have said they have concerns about ours, and what are we doing? We're working with them. We're not going to the House floor and just reading it recklessly. We're working with them because we still believe in the rule of law and the institutions of the Department of Justice well, and can, the FBI. Can I, can I ask a question, I think that's the difference why, here. Why, why did you send it to the White House? Why didn't you ask the FBI first? I mean, you're, you're part of the Oversight Committee. You could have asked them privately, hey, is there anything in here you think would imperil American national security? Security before you send it to the White House, but you didn't because you wanted to grandstand about it, obviously, right? No, it, it's not grandstanding. It's about an attack that occurred on our country, witnesses in this investigation now being given information uh, by the Republicans, and us wanting to follow the rules. God forbid we have a rule of law and a process that's worked for over 200 years. Well, why didn't you ask uh, the FBI ahead of time? Wait, hold on. Why didn't you run the, the memo by the FBI before you sent it over to the White House? Uh, uh, Tucker, we've, we've been following the rules that we're given. We're in the minority right now. Oh, no I don't answer. think this oh, is how okay. it would be run if we were in the majority. Okay. I, I, think I, I, well, I know that's true. We'd, we'd be in the middle of impeachment. Yeah. So really quick, look, we've been talking about this for over a year. You've suggested that the president and the people around him basically sold out our country to a hostile foreign power, Russia. You've prevented, presented no evidence of that. You said it's either classified or the investigation is ongoing. I want to make a deal live on TV. If you have any evidence that Trump or anyone around him colluded with Putin to win the election, I'll give you a half an hour of this show live on Fox, big audience, and you can present it. I'll let you present the evidence. I mean that because this has gone on too my, long, my, and I want to know what the evidence is, finally. Yeah. Fair? Yeah. Yeah, uh, fair, Tucker. But we're not even looking for collusion. That's the problem on our committee. We're attacking the process. We're not interviewing witnesses. If you gave us time to interview witnesses and the subpoena power, I promise you we could tell the country once and for all what happened. It's gone on for over a year. Deal. If you have any evidence at all of collusion, any, and I don't care how small it is, I will give the floor to you. And I mean that because I just I, I want to wrap this up. I'm sure you do, too. Because <laughs> you're yeah. not enjoying a it. My, a lot of my conservative friends, a lot of my conservative friends would love to see me on your show for a half hour. Congressman, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. My pleasure. You will never win.
high energy. <laughs> now, right. Okay. You know, as so wait, wait, can I ask you, can I ask you, know, you a question? Brown skin that we don't, are. Don't as give me the skin color are. thing. It's not about that. It's nothing to do with that. These are citizens of it other is. countries. They're not picking on me. any other race. They're not picking on any other race. You know how many okay. other you are single-handedly making me very against letting Mexico. any of these people become citizens because you're making it a racial question when it's a question of citizenship. So these people are here illegally. Obama, you're, you're peddling the narrative that the Trump administration is putting out, which also is the Putin narrative because they're retweeting this with their Russian bots. This, if you're so on the I'm same side as WikiLeaks Putin too. and Putin, I wonder, do you perceive if you're on the, the same side as WikiLeaks and Putin, you should take a step back and wonder whose bidding are you really doing? I don't even know what to say. I don't want to explode on TV, so I'm just going to end the segment now. But let the record reflect I'll you. I'll see you next week. Working for a hostile foreign government. It sounds like it's going to be a short interview because you and I both agree the Democratic memo should be public. Okay, so so the answer is, if I want the Republican memo to be released, I'm on Putin's side. But when I want the Democratic memo to be released, I'm on God's side. Tucker is very suspicious. I want to know if he's pressured them at all to hold back any information from the American people. And I Wait, think are you saying the FBI is subject actions, to political pressures? I thought the FBI was above politics. Isn't that the case that you've made night after night on this show? That we shouldn't quote, well, we shouldn't already, suggest. He's, oh, he's already so, fired the guy who was investigating. Him. So all of a sudden the FBI is a political tool, but I thought I was immoral for suggesting that. 10 days ago, but now no, you're suggesting it. It's kind of a, weird. They're not a political tool. Oh, because I thought you just said that. You said they had just been pressured. Can I ask a question? That's the difference why, here. Uh, why, why did you send it to the White House? Why didn't you ask the FBI first? I mean, you're you're part of the Oversight Committee. You could have asked them privately, hey, is there anything in here you think would imperil American national security before you send it to the White House? But you didn't because you wanted to grandstand about it, obviously. Right? No, it, it's funny. Not. It was a high energy event to say the least. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Made my whole career. That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, look, we appreciate you coming on. We know how busy you are, and thanks for being straight up. I'm loving it. We're, we're, no, I don't get that. It's lucky, right? High energy.